Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 15th to the 21st of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading, Gemini, and pull your oracle card for the week. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides for the week. And thank you for all of you... Um, I injured my back a couple of weeks ago, so thanks for all the well wishes. It is getting better slowly. I did take some time off, um, but I just have to be patient, I think, which is probably not one of my strong points. <laughs> but we'll see how we go. So what do we have for Gemini? Okay, so we have talent. Talent. Okay, message for Gemini, please. What is the message Gemini needs to hear for the week? Thank you. Support. Now this is divine support. You can see angels, spirits, guides watching over your world. Um, you might find some support on a practical level, physical level around you as well this week. Okay. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Gemini. Fifteenth to the 21st of February 2021, please. Thank you, Angel Spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you. Message for Gemini. Thank you. We have strength. Gemini, it's a card of Leo. I was, you know, I felt him. King of Pentacles, I felt this in your, uh, as soon as I touched that talent card. This is a really nice energy, Gemini. Um, King of Pentacles, Gemini of Taurus. And we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, so what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Geminis, thank you. Message for Gemini. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. King of Pentacles we have with the Lovers and the Queen of Pentacles, Gemini. The, the Lovers is your card, by the way, Gemini. And the Six of Wands we have with the Queen of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. We have the Seven of Swords. So there's a message of talent, which does have some commercial aspect to it, Gemini. And, you know, the pentacles energy appearing in your reading. I mean, the king and queen of pentacles can represent a relationship or a business partnership. Remember, the lovers can talk about partnerships. It's not just about love relationships. It can be about partnerships, bonds, you know, that kind of energy. Um... It feels for some of you, there is some kind of like recognition of your talent this week. We have the card of strength. Now in, in the challenge position, you know, the strength card is, is tapping into your inner strength, your inner power. And when do we find our strength? We find our strength when we are challenged when we face adversity, when we have to face fears. This is the courage that's needed to face and overcome, to master something. And what are you mastering? Well, you're mastering something that, has that you've been recovering from. So there's definitely this energy of facing some kind of challenge or adversity. I mean, that could manifest in terms of a person, that could manifest in terms of your situation. 
whatever this is, Gemini, it is facing something, rising to a challenge by being courageous. You know, something that you might have been thinking about in that period of recovery, deep reflection. So it feels quite beautiful. For some of you, you have. Now this, it feels that it could be in love. Um, somebody who is 110% behind you. You know, King and Quentacle, King, Quentacles, King and Queen of Pentacles. Um, they're interchangeable, male or female energies, but there is somebody who is 110% behind you in terms of how you face some kind of challenge and overcome it. Because, you know, the King of Pentacles, it feels like a strong partnership. Now that could be in love, that could be in terms of business partnership. But for some of you, there is an opportunity here. Somebody who is recognizing your talent and giving you a lot of support. The King of Pentacles can be somebody who will invest in you. So in terms of investment, somebody who is who will invest, who will put their money where their mouth is, on you, on your talent, somebody who believes in you. So it feels in this respect, that's what's happening this week for some of you. It feels that somebody is ready to invest in you, 110% support. It could be some kind of initiative that you're wanting to get off the ground. Now it's something that you might be doing low key, you know, um, Seven of Swords is a vision, a strategy, but you know, how you get there, you get there covert covertly, um, covertly, secretly putting something into action. I'm definitely getting some kind of commitment, investment, financial, you know, um, contribution, but somebody who 110% supports some kind of endeavor that you want to secretly put into action. And this is what you're doing, the Seven of Swords, secretly putting something into action. So using some kind of talent, knowledge, experience, because you've been faced with a challenge and that's caused you to reflect, caused you to think on what you want long term and really how you want to move forward. How one, you overcome the challenge that you face, but secondly, also how you want to move forward. And there's definitely this energy with the Queen of Pentacles of she is, I mean, both the King and Queen of Pentacles are, can be workplace relationship. Like I said, it can be business partnerships, can also be to do with love, romance relationships or both. It could well be uh, some kind of business partnership that you're going in together, that you're starting as a couple, you know, that kind of energy. But the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who represents abundance, somebody who also represents uh, nurturing, healing, uh, recovery as well. Very, very good in terms of money, career, business here, Gemini. But she is a card of growth and abundance. You know, water and earth. What do you get when you mix water and earth? Well, growth. So there's, and it's somebody who sees the talent in you, who sees the potential in you. And I'm definitely getting this energy of someone who is 110% by your side. Because there's definitely this energy with the six of wands of if you stay focused, if you stay on track, using your practical skills, abilities, knowledge, know-how, you will bring growth and abundance to your life. And this results in some kind of personal achievement victory. So again, some of you are at different life stages here in, in making this happen, but it feels that something that you've been putting into action or something that you're thinking about putting into action I'm definitely getting in this energy that there is some kind of victory. And again, somebody who will support you, celebrate with you, smile with you when you bring in the achievement. And again, the Six of Wands is some kind of achievement coming this week, um, some kind of victory. 
achievement and it's generally when you put a challenging situation behind you it's leo energy again so whatever the challenge was the outcome projected for you is that you will come through the other side of this victorious there is growth and potential discovering your own power um, and capability, practical capability to bring growth and abundance and success into your life. Yeah, so interesting energy there, Gemini. I know it won't resonate for everybody, but it feels very specific that somebody absolutely 110% believes in, believes in your capability. So I love this energy here. This is a card of unions. Unions that are so strong, there is nothing that you can't overcome, you know, um, but it's Gemini energy. So definitely the ability to manifest very much to do with material success, money, growth, financial success, recognition. You have the support and backing that you need. Somebody supports your talent to do this. I love the energy. Okay. So what do we have for Gemini as the final message? Final message for Gemini. Thank you. Two cards. So the first card is moderation is there something you know you shouldn't be eating try to eat mindfully and healthily although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine and we have i love this energy transformation yeah and i see that in the cards so this fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good embrace your transformation the best is yet to come because this is somebody who recognizes you you know all the layers of who you are. This can be a card of you connecting to your higher self. So what this person is doing is allowing you to come into your own and flourish in that aspect. I love the energy here, Gemini. So the best is yet to come. Love that. Beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.